Get her on the scale. Is it good? And <laughs> that thumb. Sometimes I have them twice a day. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Even tomorrow she has a two a day. At least once a week. Yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna get with them and see what they can do because that's just too, way too much. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. So there should be. Is there someone on our end that's kind of helped a little bit? Um. Coordinating here. Okay. Not really. I think it was just uh, mainly Keith, um, the GI doctor, and has a two a nutritionist and a feeding therapist. Yeah. And Do they, is there no overlap? I saw. So those are the places we always recommend too. So Lemon Nutrition and Fritz Joe Feeding. I saw she was signed up or he recommended both. Yeah, she's is doing there both. Overlap of those two things where you would just need one and not the other. Like you um, I see him tomorrow and I can discuss that because I'm going to see what we can do. Cause, okay. Well, let's um, go over just what, since I'm kind of like looking at all of it mm -hmm. and then we'll hone in on GI. Okay. Okay. So uh, tell me about um, what specialists that we're seeing. So I have we seen her on We see her Wednesday. Yes, uh, no, not yet. Yeah, she. I do need to schedule her a follow up, but it's just way too many appointments right now. Um, but I do need to schedule the follow up so I can check her incision spot and things like that. So yeah, I'm gonna need some relief with the with these this other things we have going on. I even have like ECI and. Um, so ECI is gonna overlap with this development. They they're overlapping a developmental doctor that yeah. the NICU signed us up for. Okay, so let's just. I'm gonna go head to toe. Okay. So we don't lose anything, but I see that there's overlap. So hopefully we can take some stuff okay. off your plate to make it a little, a little less crazy. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm pending Dr. Sacco. I may make it for next week. Have we ever met with him? Dr. No. Okay. Well, I uh, other than like the day he did the, the surgery. Yeah. And, so I would definitely. That would be kind of. I would think. Yeah, because she needs the MRI. Yeah. Said, um, okay. Yeah. So we'll follow up with them if we can. The neurologist. Tell me with. Um, she's just so vigorous. So tell me with development. What are we doing? So the NICU set you up with a developmental PhD. Yeah, and I found out that she was behind um, on her core strength. I was doing like no tummy time. I was I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if well, I was just waiting. She has the G2 too, so you might yeah, or I just didn't know if it was okay for the, at this time. I kind of was waiting for someone to tell me, okay, now is the time for tummy time. Okay. But that's on my part. I just wasn't yeah. on top of things, you know, okay. just asking the right questions. So, yeah. um, but she's doing it now. Um, okay. They put her on a plan okay. to do um, so wait, to so an hour a day. Pediatrician, mm -hmm. were there therapists there that you met with? No, she uh, it was a nurse practitioner that okay. just kind of came in and did an uh, assessment of her. Okay. And they wanted to see her in, I think, two months. Okay. And so, yeah, they graded her. Are they looking at all development or just her motor? Her motor, motor and, um, I forgot what else. I don't think they were looking at anything medical. It was mostly, um. Usually, I'm going to write it down so that we can uh, note the tendency. So, usually developmental pediatricians will look at all of their um, milestones. So, I'm going to kind of write out the four types. One is gross motor, so that's going to be yes, her, her kicking, her core strength that you're talking about, all of that. <laughs> Second is more fine motor, which, you know, mm -hmm. right now there's not a ton of that, but, you know, by four to six months, we want to see her raking up items and, like, those kind of things. Development is <laughs> four to six months. I know she's going to six months. Um, so fine motor. Third is going to be, like, communication, her babbling that she's doing right mm -hmm. now. And then fourthly is going to be, like, social skills and, like, eye contact and those kind of things, okay? Um, so those are all the things that usually are covered under development. Okay, yeah, she just looked at her, the two different categories of motor skills. Okay. Um, so maybe that's she what checked her. Is involved a little bit. Yeah. So tell me who recommend. I, I told you UCI, but anyone else that mentioned UCI, or is that because we put it in? No. Okay. I did tell the developmental specialist. I had no idea why I was there. Yeah. Um, the NICU kind of just sprang it up for yeah. me. Yeah. And, um... So development's so important. We want them yeah. for UCI. Okay. Okay. So okay. UCI, but UCI comes to the house. They do. Okay, so yeah. what's going on they, with UCI? They, they, yeah. We're in agreement with what the developmental specialist said. From what I, from what I gather, from what I gather, they're pretty much alike. Um, they, yeah. but so is the developmental pediatrician the one communicating with UCI or UCI? Doing no, they're thing? they're separate. Okay. They're, UCI they, is probably the therapist, right? That are yes, it was two house. two of them, and they came and they were just basically doing the same thing that we did with the developmental doctor. So I was like, 
I think typically, so usually, in. yeah, ECI is going to be the therapists who come to the house. We need mm -hmm. that one for sure. Okay. They're the ones to kind of keep us in line, and at least they come to the house. The developmental pediatrician and me probably have a lot of overlap. Okay. And might might not need to see them as frequent as every two months if we feel like we're needing more milestones. Mm -hmm. If ECI is working with her, then that might be one we could cut back on. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. And also, don't yeah. mind if. We have all of them in, you know, the more the better, the frequency, but yeah, exactly. The so I think with development and just know there's overlap with me and them. So I'm going to see her. Next time I see her, we'll be at nine months. So, you know, I think if we know that she's working with therapy and getting her therapy that she needs, then that's important. Okay, hi, Peppa. Yeah. <laughs> you can hold it for a minute and then it drops out. Yeah. So now we're doing a lot of tummy time with her. Yes, okay, so good. she's getting her hour like they suggested. Okay, good. Tummy time. Tell me what else she's doing. Is she showing any interest in trying to roll a little bit? She is rolling. Oh, yeah, she, she will roll. She, yeah. wow. she rolls when she's okay. a bit um, okay. elevated on her um, on a pillow. Okay. She definitely. I think she uses that. So. Okay. How often is ECI coming to the house? They just. Okay. They just, okay. They they just uh, begin. Okay. Do you know the frequency they're going to be coming? Like every twice a week. I forgot what they were going to do. Okay. Yeah, because we haven't. I think they were trying to get with insurance. Okay. And well, I would say probably like when it, usually they'll send me some forms and I always like fill out for whatever the most okay. that I can get, especially since they come to the house. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So so far we're gonna follow up with our neurologist or follow up on getting that appointment, and then um, the developmental nurse practitioner is gonna be where maybe there's some overlap and we yeah. can cut back a little bit, maybe that one. Yeah. It'll be helpful when she's a little bit older for school and all those kind of things, though. So would it completely you know dish out on them? Yeah. Maybe, like, and they don't, I don't think they see her a lot. I just thought it was just. I, thought they were doing the yeah. same thing yeah. and they also have her adjusted age different so ECI has her at a one month adjusted age okay. also nutrition had her at a one month and some change mm -hmm. to adjusted age developmental had her at a 2.5 months okay her birthday was on 10 30 and she was what was the year? 22 weeks right 23 weeks oh, 23 exactly months. 23 and three days okay. Okay. I guess the question is, are they saying that her development is at one month or her adjusted age is at one They're month? They're saying her adjusted age. So I have her adjusted age at two months. Yep, that's what her developmental doctor did. But ECI and her nutritionist have her at one month, and they're calculating just like you did. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. That's but weird. Well, yeah. I would just make sure they have all the dates right. Maybe that they look at it a little different, but we look at her yeah. birthday from the day she was born and how many weeks gestation she was. Yeah, and they claim that that's what they do, but oh, I, I don't, okay. well, yeah. Somebody's mad. We're going to say two months, um, which makes sense, too, with where she was at. So. Yeah, they had her at two and a half months. Um, at the developmental doctor maybe okay. three weeks ago, two, okay. three weeks ago. Well, let me pull up the last PI note so we can all be on the same page. Um, at least the last one they sent me. Okay. Tell me, did we meet with the pulmonologist? Did they release He's that? this week okay. on Wednesday. Okay. And did she ever get the synagogue, like the an RSV vaccine from them? Or have we I mean, no. No, nope, this will be the first okay. one. Okay. Yeah, I need to find out. Okay, good. I don't think that's going to be a frequent visit. Hopefully that one will be less frequent. Um, has she been doing well on ring air? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, so this week you're going to see them, so y'all do that, but it'll be 
Um, the ophthalmologist, uh, pulmonologist, those are going to be less frequent, so hopefully that will help. Yeah, she kicked pulmonologist. No, ophthalmologist kicked out every three weeks now. Okay. And, um, yeah, so I just think they're all just set this week. It's a, well, the therapy, that's what's going to be the hard part. Yeah. Be a lot. Whatever you can get at home is great. Let's do it at home. Typically, ECI and what they're doing at the Frisco feeding might have some overlap mm -hmm. sometimes, too, so we can look into that a little bit. Um, let's take a look real quick. So I'm pulling up our last GI note. How is Dr. Sweet's been? Great, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I've been reading all his notes. Mm -hmm. I've lost him there. So tell me what we're doing with her feeding right now. Right now she's eating, they bumped her up to about 68 mLs of feed. Okay. Trying to get her bigger. Okay. Did he put his her weight in there when she saw him last week? So she saw Dr. Keith on 321. That was, and she weighed 4.13 pounds at that time. And what is the difference, in, do you know, between today? I'm sorry, 4.13 kilos, not pounds. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because they counted kilos, and here she was 9.8. Yeah, let's see what that and, is. Yeah. I know, the pounds to kilo is annoying. <laughs> so today she was 9.8, so that's 9.5 pounds. So she was 4.13 and today she's 4.3. Okay, is that, is that good? Or? Yeah, so let's take a look. So I mean, her weight to me, I mean, when I'm looking at it this way, is a little bit slower than maybe where we want it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's, let's, let's see what his last note said. So, um, tooth, they talked about tooth care, tooth changes, all that. He's comfortable yeah, that. he's going to, I think he's going to change her to about, if not, it's, it's going to be in a couple, I think he put mid-April. Yeah, he put mid-April on his. So weight gain could be better the last few weeks. We'll bump up her feet. So at that time, she had gone up to 68. Is that what she's currently doing? Yeah, right and so she's still probably not. Yeah, I don't know. If, is she tolerating that well? Sometimes, and it's, uh, it's spit up there. Okay. And then, so when it happens like that, I will go back down to the 60 mm -hmm. that she tolerates mm -hmm. at night because I don't want her uncomfortable sure. trying to sleep. Okay. Okay. But her little belly is so tight. Is that every night you feel like No. Or? No, just no. there. Yeah. Okay, so she's up to the 68. Is that continuous? I'm sorry, how often yeah. do you mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. each feet? Each yeah. feet. And mm -hmm. how, how long do you do that for? Um, If it's through the tube, yeah. she's going over an hour. Okay. If it's through her bottle, um, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay, and how many feeds does she get for the rest of the week? That are... Like exactly. How many feeds a day is she getting? Oh, uh, eight, that's still eight. She's still yeah. And so she's getting eight feeds of 68 ounces. 68 ounces supposed sorry. to, yeah, okay. yeah, so supposed to. But when I have to adjust depending on her. How much you're spending yeah. and things like that. Okay. Um, we need to see London Nutrition needs them involved. Right now has a virtual appointment set up in person. Okay. okay. Yeah. So and I went and saw them after that. 320, or 329. Yeah. And she gave me a recipe to go up to 26 calories instead of 24 okay. with the Neosha. Okay. When did we start that? Um, which I have not started okay. yet. Um, because she, I, yeah, she, yeah, it's really easy. Okay. But, um, okay, I haven't started it yet because she hadn't had a poop in two days. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk to you about what do you think because I heard that Neil Sure gets, you know, these babies a constipated. But honestly, babies that are on even formula and other breast uh -huh. milk, I see them have periods where they do two or three days without stool, even up to five days without okay. stool. So that can be a normal. So me adding more that. powder, that's not going to. Well, Further I, think, her. I think anytime you make a change in formula, anytime, you can expect her bowels are going to be weird for a week or two. Okay. So you can expect that. Okay. If she seems really uncomfortable, we have ways to help her stool. So I would go ahead and make the change because for her growth, she just seems like she'll need it. Okay. She hasn't made as much progress as I would want her to make. Within a week? Okay. Um, you know, within a week and within, um, I mean, basically looking at her weight today from the last time I saw her, so that includes like the last Oh, week, yeah, yeah. She just hasn't progressed as much as you mm -hmm. would have exactly like. She's progressed, but not maybe to the point that we would have wanted. Okay. okay. So I think I think that is warranted. So let me take a look at that. Okay, so I will change her feeding today. I just really was skeptical from reading about that and not her not yes, having yes. a dirty diaper. So in what two we days. need to know if she's constipated is when she poops, is it soft or is it little pebbles? If it's little pebbles, no, let yes. me know, let Dr. Keith know. But if it's soft, she's not really constipated. She's okay. getting used to a new regimen. Okay. Okay. So never worry about the stools by drinking. Well, I don't see any dirty diapers. That's my thing. Or, like, so when, it, when it is day two or three and she's finally stooling for okay. you, if it's not little pebbles but it's still coming out soft, that tells you she's not constipated. But her rhythm is off probably, and that's because we've made changes. She's gone up on her feet. Mm -hmm. She's 
hope uh, I'm going to switch to a little bit more, but I mean, even okay. my babies that are breastfed, I, they sometimes go four or five days without stooling. Okay. And so her rhythm might be every two days, but when it comes out, is it soft? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's, it's normally it's soft. soft. Okay, good. So it's that's something to keep an eye on very closely, so good. Um, ECI set up for the 30th would like feeding email. So yeah, I guess my big question with ECI slash developmental <laughs> slash all these people involved, who is doing like the feeding evaluation? And I know Frisco Feeding, mm -hmm. but ECI could be doing that too. No, they haven't. Okay, so um, I would request that ECI okay. do the feeding evaluation because that could eliminate one you know, okay. appointment you have to go to. Um, and her feeding therapist right now wants to see her weekly, but I'm gonna tell her that, that I need her to change it because she's already everything we're doing there the baby's actually doing from what i do with her at home so there's no new thing new, yeah and you know not to say we don't need her i like to keep her on the team but mm -hmm. as frequent as you know i know everybody needs to see clients but i can't keep yeah. taking the baby you know yeah, yeah. So out let's like see that. if ECI can do it and have them come to the house okay. and not have to because the big thing is going to be when can she eat solids and i think that's what they're yeah. prepping for yeah but um, she takes her bottle i got her i transitioned her i rarely use her pump now okay. um Okay, so she's using bottles. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, one good thing about my feeding therapist, she did put her, get her back on the Dr. Brown okay. bottles, which okay. is the recommended for the preemies, okay. and the baby didn't like that in the NICU. Yeah. And they took it away and gave it a vent bottle. Okay. And um, so I was impressed to see that she did. She And on, on the Dr. Brown bottles, she will finish her entire feed. Okay. This little tummy tippy bottle here, this, yeah, this is like what she does. She'll leave like 0.5. Bit, okay. And um, I'll, I'll give it to her. In between the okay. time for the next feed. Okay. So then, do we use what do we use our tubes for? Like, are you doing at night because she won't wake up? Okay. Or um. So you would say maybe she does half her feed via bottle, half. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. And okay, and if she doesn't finish her feed uh, by mouth, I will pour it into the mm -hmm. bowl. The so bowl is the bottle, but then uh, following up. So how much do you feel like you usually need to finish up during the? Maybe day? like once. She may fall asleep. Okay. Uh, it's this bottle. This bottle wears her out, yeah, but yeah, this that's, the, the, been, that's the Tommy Tippy that I got from my um, baby shower. That's the one I wanted to use with her before all this went down. Yeah, yeah. And I only have like three of them. Gotcha. So in all of her bottles, this is like yeah, my last resort. Okay. And yeah, she always at the halfway mark will like tap out mm -hmm. and I have to, I burp her anyway halfway. Okay. She's up and a little bit more. Moving. Yeah. Okay. And she's doing the two feet at night though. Yeah, because she doesn't really want to wake up. Okay. I wanted, oh yeah, and I wanted to see if we could find a way to... <clears throat> lessen her the frequency of her feed, feed. So if we can if not i don't think we're there yet because okay. of her growth um, okay she's not, since she's not needing the mouth but i think the question <clears> is if you can go up to 68 ml once we get to a point where we're high enough then we can reduce feed so yeah if she can't tolerate that amount unfortunately not yet are you okay. sleeping every three um yeah but sometimes on her feeds i sleep through my alarm it, yeah. at night i just yeah. don't get yeah. up or if i get up it's supposed to be at 2 a.m i wake up it's like 3 a.m then okay. i try to just go feed yeah. and then i'm off the rest of the day with off track yeah. I and wonder so, if, um, so her one feed is 68 ml so i wonder on the days that you do miss if we could take that 68 ml and separate it over seven feeds seven mm -hmm. other feeds that she has yeah so that would be about 10 ml that you're adding to every feed to kind of catch her up yeah can she tolerate that is the question yeah and i don't probably i don't yeah, think so because she so I would say probably she needs a little more time to get used to okay. that higher. So yeah. I think incrementally, let's get her up so that we can cut back on one of those. Okay, feet. yeah, I'll keep trying, but just sometimes yeah. I just can't yeah. with all these um, appointments sure. every day. Sure. Like, yeah. we're what? Oh, really it's crazy. Yeah. I know. I want whatever we can get to. That's why I haven't met with you in a while, even though I probably should be meeting with you more because I feel like you have all these other things yeah. in the kitchen. But I would say let's get her. I know, I know it's really, really hard. If there's any other care coordination, let me reach out to our care coordination team too and see, is it, it's not a transportation issue. It's just no, like, it's too just way too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah way too much. much. But, um, her yeah. feeding therapist is really good with working with me. Okay. I just think she doesn't know. I haven't had a conversation with her about how many other things we have going on. Yeah. And I, I know that she could work with our schedule. Cause like, for instance, we have a swallow study on yeah. Okay, so you have one Thursday okay. morning, she's going to come meet me there, and okay. that'll count for her feeding great. therapy. That way, all of the people are in the same room. That's going to be really great. Right, so I, I really, okay. I was impressed that so she, yeah. I wonder if yeah. we could just say, hey, the once a week is not working, like, can we make it every other? But yeah. I wouldn't go too much further since we're not, like, meeting the goals yet for just growth. Everything yeah. else maybe, but not yet on growth. So I wouldn't cut back too much, but whatever we can do. I think not, maybe we don't need to meet with developmental too much right now, and maybe... The feeding therapy and ECI can have some overlap. I know you've now connected with that feeding therapist, so it's yeah. a little hard to like, um, but I would request, I wrote on here, request ECI if they can do a feeding evaluation, okay. just just to help cut down the appointment, too, okay. is what I'm thinking. I'm looking at what we said. So um, right here it says, um, I'm just looking at, I read all the notes ex uh, except I wanted to pull up the last um, feeding therapy notes. So 
for the baseball guys. Oh, this is not for you, baby. This is for all the soccer people. Let's see. A half a lemon nutrition one. I get it. I, I feel like, yeah, even just keeping track here, I can't imagine what it yeah. looks like mm -hmm. in real life. So I know it's really hard. Um, all right, so catch up week goal. So we have our meal shore that we're doing, and they, yeah, they did give you that recipe. Yeah. And then. Uh, Which I'm, I'm, you need any other multivitamins or anything? Oh, yeah. She did text me, um, and I gave it to your assistant that something called DVDVI. -D 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 yeah. She wanted that for her, and she said that I needed a poly, uh, the multivitamin. Polyvitol with iron? She said without iron, which okay. I was um, thinking that was weird. Well, the reason might be because she's a little constipated. Okay. I don't know if she knew that, but maybe that's why. And the Neosure might have some of that as well. Got it. Okay, so she did. She told me I can get those over the counter. Multivitamin. Is that true? Multivitamin. Yeah, so the polyvitol, I'll write that down for you. That can be over the counter. On her note, it says hold any multivitamins while on higher Neosure for now. But did she call you and say something different? She did. She uh, wrote me um, okay. that she she said, hey, is she on any thing um, other than oh, because when I got home, we wanted to look at what I what I had sure, there in my sure. fridge because I had the I'm because I had two refills for hydrochlorothiazide. Okay. I'm still giving that to her. Not really sure if I I refilled it. Not really sure if you wanted me to. Well, that was um, that wasn't from you. Oh, was that from him? So, yeah, so okay. we can just check in with them, but I don't think we need to do that anymore. I, again, that was one that we were not Yeah, he about. put three refills, but her multivitamin, Who whoever NICU? ordered it uh, at the NICU, this is what I came home with. Okay. So the bottle had two refills, and I had to call the pharmacy to refill it, and I just refilled it because it said, oh, she but has two, but that doesn't mean, because she has it available, doesn't yeah. mean she needs it. I would it. definitely let the pulmonologist okay. know if you meet with them today. Uh, this, I'm sorry, this week, but hopefully we won't need that anymore. Right? So in her multivitamin that she was on from the NICU uh, that she came home with, Mm -hmm. had um, zero refills. So I was like, oh, maybe they want so you to decide. Over, well, it, it, it can be over the counter. So the Neosure has a lot of the multivitamins, so I was just, I'm not, wasn't sure if, if okay. that would be sufficient or not for her. But if they're saying that you, they need it, then I would go ahead and do it. So it's called Entomil Polyvisol, and I'll write it down for you, okay? Entomil <laughs> Polyvisol Drops. She's such a happy girl. She's doing so good. I'm going to pull this up real quick. Oh yeah. Okay, I've seen that. Okay. Okay. So I can go just buy these things. Okay. So I'm gonna put her on that today. I just needed to see you before I. I don't like people telling me like do this, do that with your baby, and you guys are not like her primary care physician. I think it's hard now on all ends because I sent her Dr. Keith and hoping that. I know he can't do the feeding therapy. Yeah. It's going to be separate, but I didn't know they were also going to send to a nutritionist. So I, I and it, yeah, and it's because of the weight gain, which I don't mind. Yeah, and yeah. I do, I could appreciate that, them. That won't always be the Oh, and no, but you know what? The nutritionist is going to go with me strictly online. I did okay. tell her about okay. so the uh, appointment. Yeah. So she was like, you don't need to drive out okay. here for that. Perfect. So she actually gave me a... Um, a baby scale link to yeah, order so that I can weigh her at home. Good. And um, <laughs> she wants to match that against Dr. Keith's. Okay. Um, Again, yeah. All right, y'all. So, and you, y'all know the wind is crazy. Y'all need to tell y'all that's why my hair look a mess, but it's not a bad mess about the baby. But um, she did get two shots. One is here, and the other is there. And she's a little bit upset. Yeah, she's a little bit upset. So I'm getting her dressed now. And um, we will talk about <laughs> what went down, what's going on. I know y'all heard most of it, but y'all. So basically, y'all, baby's here sleeping or trying to. Um, she had some shots and she's just not feeling her best. She's really moody, so I'm gonna give her some baby Tylenol. I was trying to hold off and watch her, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Get her the baby Tylenol, but nonetheless, um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know um, what went on at the pediatrician. So she was trying to help me, if you guys heard, like um, getting some of these appointments condensed. So tomorrow we do have a doctor's appointment where um, I see her GI doctor who's kind of got me with the nutritionist and the feeding therapist and see what he thinks about trying to combine them or turning them virtual because that's not that's the only way she's gonna gain weight is if i'm not ripping and running like every time i get in that car and have to drive a distance it just takes away from 
uh, excuse you, <laughs> from me having to nourish the baby. So that's a big, big ordeal. So we're gonna see what we, what we can make happen. And um, yeah, she's nine pounds eight ounces. I was hoping she was ten, but we'll we'll go with that. I did up her intake of milk right uh, at this batch. We got home. I just wanted to get it okay from her pediatrician, but I did go ahead and uh, mix the Neo Sure Simulac formula to 26 calories instead of 24. It's a bit clumpy. It was hard to mix, but you know we'll get there. I spilled some powder. It, it was a mess, but we'll get there. Um, it's all gonna work out. That was my first time making it. And sorry, my hair looks wild and crazy, but I've been trying to take a nap with her and rest and then trying to soothe her, on, on lay with her on the pillow and soothe her because she's just so worn out and over it, y'all. She got her shots, y'all seen that. So, yeah, so I just been trying to relax and soothe her and just be sure she's okay. So we will see tomorrow. Well, you guys will see Wednesday what um her GI doctor has to say about her weight gain according to his um office. And we'll just see what happens. Um yeah, so I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye. I'm really on fire tonight. Can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking with